have at it. Uh, thank you, Aiden, for that warm introduction. Uh, so when uh, Mr. Houston first reached out to me to come speak here today, uh, I asked him the format of the speech. Uh, some of the main points he expressed in his email to me were to be interactive, engaging, which sometimes means breaking down barriers. So before I get started with the speech, I'm gonna do something I did back in 2012 when I gave the commencement speech here. And this is my second speech I've been asked back for, so I'm assuming that making a tradition out of this is gonna be okay. I need your guys' help, make me feel a little more comfortable. This is chapel, in all due respects, we need to do the wave. <laughs> so starting from here, going back, all the way up to the back, upstairs, coming back forward. You know what the wave is? Help out, ready? One, two, three, up, up, back, and then it comes back down this way. Come on back again. Thank you guys. A lot more comfortable. Uh, I can get started with the speech. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank Headmaster Day, Mr. Houston, faculty and staff, most importantly, my Cardigan brothers for having me here today. So the last time I was at this podium was in the spring of 2002, lobbying for my candidacy as school leader. That's almost 15 years ago. I mention this not only because it evokes a certain sense of nostalgia, but also because the theme today is pride of place why we're proud to live the cardigan way okay so when we talk about the cardigan way we can't get the conversation started without touching on the core values of cardigan who knows them anyone name them out give me one one boom yes compassion's one integrity two respect three number four looking for it you there, right there, in the red glasses. We got them. Awesome. That's great to know. I had to look them back up on the website. <laughs> Compassion, integrity, respect, courage. Compassion. Be kind. Seek to understand others and go out of your way to help. This is a big one for me, which is why I'm going to start here. You're in a place that's comprised of people from all walks of life, racially, culturally, socioeconomically. Whether you grew up in a trailer park in a one road town or a mansion in a gated community, are from the United States, Mexico, Korea, Finland. Is there anyone I'm missing? Name it out. Anyone I'm missing? No, maybe, no? Yeah, what, what? Russia? Russia? Anywhere else besides Russia? Yeah? Thailand. Thailand? Anywhere else? Come on, come on. Japan. Where? Japan. Japan? Call it out. Yes, sir. China. China? That's a lot there. It's, this, is, this place has become even more diverse than I remember it. Oh, wait, up back there. Can't forget you guys. Canada. Canada? <laughs> All right, eh? The guy next to the Canadian. Bermuda. Bermuda! Bahama, come on, baby. All right. Back to the speech, sorry. <clears throat> so people with all different backgrounds, experiences, motivations, aspirations, strengths, whether it be in academics, athletics, arts, this place is a breeding ground for differentiation uniqueness and individuality and I hope you all understand and are taking advantage of that that means not being clicky staying in the same group with only like-minded individuals from similar backgrounds etc you got to break out be open to understanding where others are coming from and it takes a, a conscious effort 
like any learned skill or retained attribute. These relationships, interactions, will rub off on you, leaving you more enriched than you had had if you had simply just stayed with your own, with what you know. When I think back to my time at college at Cornell, the best part of my education wasn't because of the Ivy League school, great lectures, professors. It's from being surrounded by people and engaging with these people who are smart, ambitious, with different temperaments, talents, and convictions. I made it a point to become genuinely interested in what excites other people. What makes them tick? I have friends ranging from pro athletes, lawyers, doctors, bankers, construction workers, farmers, and my best friend who manages a pizza parlor an hour away. I take pride in the fact that this place taught me to stick up for the little guy, the quiet one. If there's one thing I've learned that I hate, it's boys. Or someone who belittles or preys on the weaknesses of others. Do not be that guy. It's not cool. It doesn't make you tough. What's tough is sticking your neck out for the other guy the little guy. That takes courage, which is another card in core value. Courage. Be brave. Face adversity with strength and persistence. Stepping outside your comfort zone, taking risks, getting comfortable, being uncomfortable. You've already shown a great deal of courage simply by just being here. It takes a lot of courage to leave your home, family, friends, essentially everything you know, especially at your age. Spending some of your most formative years in a completely new environment, community, and way of life. You've all rolled the dice by coming here. It's a big risk. That's the funny thing about risk, though. You can always, for the most part, count out the cons, the things that are going to go wrong. But you can't do the same with the pros, the benefits, as easily. Pros are more complex and don't really reveal themselves until you put yourself in a position to open that door and see what's behind it. What scares me more than risks are the what-ifs from not taking them. You will be plagued way more by those thoughts throughout your life than from any consequence of taking a reasonable risk. Those are the ones that keep you up at night, the what-ifs. If you took a risk and failed, embarrassed yourself, at least at the end of the day you can say, you know what, gave it a shot, I'm better because of it. You have learned more about yourself. And more importantly, you have learned one of the biggest lessons in life. And that's how to fail. Not only how to fail, but how to fail with integrity. Water break. Which brings us to our next card in core value. Integrity. Be honest, remain true to yourself and your word. So here's a quick story about my experience at Cardigan that relates to this. It's my senior year, ninth grade, 2003, was the captain of the wrestling team. One of our biggest tournaments of the year is the Cardigan Mountain School Wrestling Tournament. Teams from all New England were coming, both private, public. I was the top seed in the tournament. The second seed was, of course, a kid from Eagle Brook. I had trained all season, not only preparing to win this tournament on our home turf, 
but of course to beat the Eagle Brook kid and make it extra sweet. Long story short, I not only lost the Eagle Brook kid, lost my next match, which is the consolation final, uh, match, meaning I didn't even place in the tournament. My day was over. I was so distraught, so disappointed, I went straight up to my dorm, at the time was Brewster, showered, changed my coat and tie, then headed back down to the gym. Well, when I got back to the gym, the tournament, which was far from over, we still had guys advancing, wrestling, Coach Kruzberg saw me. Walked over, put his arm around me, we walked out of the gymnasium, and he proceeded to lay into me. Now I'm sure there are some of you who may know what it's like to be on the business end of a Kruzberg conversation. <coughs> take those hums and hip as a yes. I'll never forget that moment. But more importantly, the lesson I learned that day. So it didn't matter that I had lost, not placed in the tournament, but it's the way I did it, the way I acted after losing. I was a captain. Instead of acting like one, and staying in my uniform, supporting, helping the team, focusing on the other guys that were still wrestling, focused on myself, how embarrassing it was to have fallen so short of my goal in such a big spotlight for all to see. I was selfish, and therefore completely devoid of integrity. See, I was so used to winning at everything that when I finally suffered a big loss, I didn't know how to handle it. Fast forward to 2012, I landed my dream job at New Balance, developing uniforms for Warrior Lacrosse, working with athletes, huge deal, a lot of fun, like to brag about to your friends, tons of swag, dream job. Like the tournament, I worked hard to get there, high expectations. After two years, came to a point like in the tournament, that I'd failed to live up to those expectations. Except now this failure has real world repercussions. You lose a match in wrestling, you're on to the next one. Eh, not so much when it comes to your career. Long story short, I was given the option to stay another month, helping the team with the transition, or cut ties and be paid out for that month as well as two other months. I chose to stay on board. I wanted to be remembered as having the reputation that even though I had failed, I stuck it out, supported my team to the very end. That's not easy. Everyone around you knows you failed and you go to work every single day for an entire month. It makes the four hours at the end of the tournament everyone knows I've lost seem like nothing. Day in, day out, everyone knows that you're only gonna be there to the end of the month, that you've failed, but you're still there giving the full percent. Didn't even take vacation, half days, anything like that. That was it. And from that, I gained respect. Which is the next card in core value. Be considerate, care for yourself, and the card in Mountain School. Discipline, structure, self-respect, self-awareness. We all know what respect is all too well here. All these previous core values I've talked about, compassion, integrity, and courage, they all come down to respect. Respecting yourself, your classmates, your teammate, your community. My aim in coming here today is to not preach, my aim of coming, giving this speech, is to leave you invigorated, stimulated, motivated, rejuvenated, nay, exhilarated, to help you hit the reset button. Step back, take a deep breath, enjoy your experiences here. That's one thing we didn't talk about yet. That's the unwritten core value, is fun. The wave, fun. Make an effort to knock yourself out of the monotony of the daily grind. 
take the time to remind yourself that this is a pretty special place. This is a place that you're going to be proud to say that you went to. You will always share an unspoken understanding with others that have come before you and after you. And that understanding is what it means to have done time on the point. Thanks, guys.